Now I want to change gears a moment and talk about this second key area, which is virtualization. Most organizations around the, move, around the world are moving very, very quickly to virtualize their environment for a number of important reasons. Server consolidation, uh, total cost of ownership savings, disaster recovery capabilities, the ability to dynamically deploy and make services available, green IT initiatives. And here's what's interesting. Around the world, less than 10% of all servers today are actually virtualized. And the vast majority of those are actually Windows-based servers. And as we ask organizations for feedback, developers and IT pros, what's holding you back in terms of going more deeply with virtualization? We hear a number of things. The readiness of our people. We want to make sure that the applications are tested. But one of the key challenges is around managing these systems. We want to have a comprehensive view in terms of managing both physical resources and virtualized environments in a more holistic, integrated manner. And another key challenge is cost. It costs a lot of money to virtualize these environments. Our strategy with this launch is to really democratize the approach that the industry is taking around virtualization. And we're doing some very exciting things here. Now, Microsoft has been in the virtualization game for a long, long time. In 1996, when we first released Windows NT Server 4.0, that was the release where we first provided terminal services, presentation tier class virtualization. And over the years, we've added to that, innovated against terminal services. There's a great set of technology in Windows Server 2008 in this. But we've added things like soft grid for application to application virtualization, the ability to do virtual PC technology. And now, the missing piece, server virtualization, Hyper-V the core component and baseline feature of Windows Server 2008. I've, I've had people ask me, you know, why is it a, a basic feature and why are we not selling it as a standalone product? And I'll come back to that point that I made earlier. If 90% of the world's servers that are virtualized are Windows servers, we think it only makes sense from a training, from a testing, from a security, from an integration perspective to make virtualization a baseline feature of the Windows Server operating system. Now, we've been building this for a long time. It actually comes, uh, <coughs> its genesis point is in the security world from work that we were doing in the 2000 time frame on something called Palladium, which then became NGSCB. I don't know if anybody remembers any of that, but it was a secure computing based hypervisor technology that would operate side by side on a chipset from Intel and others. And what we've done is to actually build a fully 64-bit uh, microkernel architecture that is highly performant, that's interoperable. So of course we support Windows Server 2008, Windows Server 2003, older versions of Windows Server, but more importantly, Linux-based virtualized environments with this hypervisor as well. It's deeply integrated with Windows, Windows, Server, Windows Server 2008 and the new networking technology that we have in place there. A great example of that is around network load balancing, which a number of organizations are moving forward. And our hypervisor is deeply integrated with that as well. So we're very excited about what's taking place here. And just yesterday, we released Release Candidate 1 of the Windows Server 2008 Hyper-V. And so this continues to be very much on track uh, for a release this summer. Now, Across the board, then, you can see we're taking a very comprehensive approach to virtualization. We don't believe that it's only about server virtualization. Rather, you need the full portfolio of presentations here. Uh, the work that happens around app-to-app, -app, virtualized PC, and server, uh, server virtualization. And what you really need is the ability to manage all of that in a comprehensive way. And that's the approach that we're taking the system center. Because organizations have asked us, help us to manage both physical resources and virtualized resources with a common tool that our people already know how to use. That's what we deliver with the System Center approach. We're also doing some really fun and interesting things with System Center and Hyper-V. A great thing for developers is this technology around self-service portal. So you can actually configure via policy, uh, via System Center, the ability for a developer or an architect to provision via SharePoint portal a virtualized <laughs> server that might be at six or eight gigabytes of memory with this many processors with this type of environment very, very quickly. 
useful equally well in a branch office environment. So we take a comprehensive approach, and that second theory that I talked about earlier of cost, we're thinking about how we can do it in a very, very cost-effective way. This environment, we believe, costs one-third of the price of the leading vendor in the virtualization space. And that's our commitment, and that's how we intend to democratize our approach to virtualization. So really, really exciting stuff. Now we're going to do some great demos. We're going to spend a lot of time in the software with you now because we want to really show this off. But let me set up the demo a little bit for you. So I'm from Seattle. I grew up there. It's the home of Starbucks, the home of coffee. And so, of course, all of our demos center on a fictitious coffee company that we call Fourth Coffee. Uh, Fourth Coffee is an interesting organization, probably not unlike yourselves. Uh, they are in the midst of growing dramatically. They are acquiring new employees and new organizations. They're reaching out to web technologies to actually understand how they can sell and market and reach their consumers in new and interesting ways. They want to provide very powerful uh, capabilities back to the business in terms of business intelligence. And so that what we'll do is, in the course of this first demo, is take a look at some of the features and functionality around SQL Server, Windows Server 2008, specifically around availability, around clustering, geo-clustering, around how we can provision and create headless servers using server core, and also a really interesting technology around SSL VPN. So in this scenario, what will happen is we'll acquire a new company and we want to uh, make uh, an employee of that new company have access through the firewall to a terminal services-based application. And so with that, I'd like to invite Sebastian on stage and uh, walk us through. Sebastian, thank you for coming. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. 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 Thank apare acest tip de virus, spre exemplu. Ce pot eu să fac, astfel încât infrastructura pe care o pun la dispoziție să fie cât mai flexibilă, să fie dinamică, să pun servicii la dispoziție cât mai repede și asta cu niște răspunsuri foarte, foarte mici. Haideți să trecem la demonstrație. Pentru ce pot să o folosesc de tehnologia de virtualizare? Este să zicem, funcționalitatea de bază care îmi permite mie să, să realizez lucrurile pe care mi le-am produs. Aici, spre exemplu, am un server și în cazul acestui server am instalat rolul de hyperlink. Vedeți că deja m-am creat 4, 6, 8, aproape 10 mașini virtuale. Da? Am un server de bază de date, domeni control, două file server, încă unul pe care aș vrea să, să îl pornesc, să fac provisioning. Am un server de timer, Stenisys, Sun, am chiar și un server de Linux. Ok, pentru ce aș vrea să, cum am spus, să pun la dispoziția utilizatorului, nu sunt un tigă utilizatorul, am un server de, de, de fișe. Da? Deja v-am tempeit un pulsit la un adăugat mașina, prin dreapta startei și vedeți deja în partea de, de jos, un live thumbnail în care o spune că o mașină am de uh, Acest file server este o instalare de unde o să vă pun. Pentru cei care nu știu, haideți să ne uităm cam cum arată o instalare server -tru. Asta este tot ceea ce vedeți în momentul în care instalați server -tru. Noi cumva glumim, spunem că este un pic de Linux sau Microsoft. Atât avem. Toată administrarea de Windows Server Core se face din linie comandă. Nu aveți interfață grafică. Totul a fost făcut în ideea de a micșora area de, de riscuri. Da? Am plen. Să vorbim un pic de partea de clasterizare. Da? Vrem să, să facem, să zicem, procentul acela 99,999% mai mult. Asta este consola de administrare a de Tot ceea ce noi am învățat de când am lansat pe 4, 2003, practic toată experiența noastră se găsește în această, în această consolă.